everybody, Captain Steve here, and we are going to show you guys how to set up your auto guidance system on your Garmin Char Plotter. Let's dive right in. So we currently are on our nav screen uh, on our Garmin's here. We are going to go down to the home button. Now we're gonna go into settings. Once you're in settings, we're gonna go down to preferences. So on this one, it happens to be the second one down and then navigation, third down and auto guidance. Obviously we're trying to set that up. So we're gonna go into the auto guidance system. And the way this works is off of three different settings. Number one is preferred depth, which is probably the most important for this setup. And on here, we've got it actually set up to six feet on this current boat. And then on our next setting would be vertical clearance or also bridge clearance. So if your boat is T-topped or T-topped with a radar or a large bimini uh, pontoon boat kind of deal, that's very important because if you're trying to create an auto guidance path beyond a bridge that is too low according to your setting, it will not build the path beyond it, which makes you second guess that. So very important, number two. And then lastly is our shoreline distance. And we generally keep that normal here in Southwest Florida for you boaters, um, as well as our preferred depth generally ranges from the three feet to the six feet mark. Deeper drafting boats obviously use the six. Now that this is set up, we can now go in and actually start using our auto guidance. Again, this is Captain Steve. Thank you for following along today with us on how to set up your auto guidance system. Stay tuned and follow along for the next videos.